Hello, everybody. My name is Martin Boucher, and I'm a faculty lecturer here at the Johnson Story. I'm a graduate school of public policy, and I am here today as part of the Indigenous Nation Building Discussion Series. And our discussion today is about Na Métis Nation Building here in Saskatchewan. We are joined by Dr. Curtis Boyer, who is an expert from a research perspective, from a community advocacy perspective, and from a personal perspective. He is Métis himself, and he's going to help us understand some of the very sort of unique context here in Canada, and in particular Saskatchewan, with some of the exciting developments with Métis nation building that we are seeing in this country. So, Curtis, uh, we have heard a lot about the recent work with nation building that has been going on with Métis Nation Saskatchewan. Can you fill us in on some of those developments? Thanks, Martin. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It is an exciting time for the Métis in Saskatchewan. The Métis Nation of Saskatchewan, the government here, has um, begun a process of nation building uh, on a scale and pace that we haven't seen really before. It's been able to provide some services and um, roll out some programs that I think are quite exciting. Uh, I think that, that um, I, well, first let me say that like many Indigenous nation building programs um, or processes, rather, uh, this one begins with a signing of a self-government agreement with the federal government. And so that's what this government in the last uh, four years has been doing, has been uh, signing and negotiating the, the, this agreement. Uh, this, of course, has included some some drastic changes and some, I think, um, from a governance perspective, some positive changes, some uh, revisions to the Constitution, changes to the Citizenship Act, things that uh, I believe allow this government to be able to provide services to the people at the grassroots. And so, let me just say a couple of, uh, examples of of what these services are that I think that I think are, are great um, that this government's been able to do. So, with, there's in terms of um, Health and these are just a couple areas. But health, uh, we have a we had of course emergency COVID relief benefits um, provided to the, the citizens. We've had um, an interesting program about um, medical travel accommodation. I believe it's called the medical travel accommodation uh, program, where basically there was a difficulty in a lot of um, Métis citizens, especially our our older folks, being able to get to their health. Uh, meetings or doctor meetings and appointments and whatnot. So this this program allowed transportation and, and support for um, temporary lodging to make sure that that Métis citizens are able to get to their uh, and meet their health health needs. The the other area is housing, of course. Uh, so the MNS has created a housing strategy platform that uh, provided some uh, really practical solutions to a housing a housing issue, housing security to improve housing security. One of which is being a uh, first time home buyers program, uh, and another being um, a um, a uh, emergency repair home program. So these are kind of and these are just kind of a few examples of 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 ways in which this government I think has been able to roll out programs uh, internally design programs that really meet the needs of the grassroots, the citizens, the Métis citizens uh, of, of this province in ways that I think no other government before it has. And so these are, these are, these are positive uh, changes and I think should be celebrated as a part of that nation building process. Um, the, I guess the other thing I, I could mention, which is interesting and exciting about this, this uh, nation building process that this current government has, has instituted is that um, it involves not just the rollout of these internal benefits but um, and programs, but also the turning a new page in um, the kinds of relationship building that this government has with other institutions that Métis citizens in this province are ultimately going to have to interact with. So I guess to give a quick little background first is that we need to understand with na nation building with the Métis nation in Saskatchewan. It's different from what we would see in, say, a First Nations um, nation building process. First Nations, are, of course, have a different demographic. It, when we when we see these success stories like Meadow Lake and uh, Meadow Lake Tribal Council or, 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 or White Cap, for sanctions, we, 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 these are demographics and geographies that are kind of um, where the population citizens, those who will benefit from the nation building process are kind of in one place. And with the Métis in Saskatchewan, of course, the colonial history and um, also the just the demographics of the population spread out, the communities are spread out and the people are spread out, urban, rural. And so 
nation building in this case also has to address that challenge um, as being something that is integral to improving the lives of the Métis peoples. How do you get to improve those lives? And I think this government has, has thought out um, that kind of long game uh, in, in nation building, which is to build relationships with institutions, municipal, provincial, um, uh, and for example, with universities. So um, memorandums of understanding have been signed between the MNS and, and University of Saskatchewan to the Saskatchewan Health Authority to um, the Saskatchewan uh, Education Association. Th these, uh, these are just some examples of how um, memorandums of understanding but also then further, further work with these institutions, uh, we're, we're seeing uh, Métis interests where often are been traditionally ignored in these institutions are being reasserted. And so that made the gap between uh, health and education outcomes that we have traditionally seen in this province between Métis and non-Métis, uh, that gap is being closed. And the only way that that gap can be closed is with a government like the MNS using its, its governing structure to build relationships with these institutions at Métis are ultimately going to be interacting with their in their daily lives. So in this way, nation building is about building things within within insight uh, in internal government structures and core governance. We've seen the, the the required revisions of the of the Constitution and the Citizenship Act, but also and then then allowing providing the citizens that that services, but also understanding that you need to take care of the citizens in a broader provincial context. So I think this government's done a really good job in doing that. I think it's a very exciting. Thank you very much. One of the interesting things with Métis nations is Métis identity. Um, it is a very complex identity and you are really in the thick of it. And I'm wondering if you could give us some insights on the nature of the politics and the identity issues surrounding the development of Métis nation in Saskatchewan. Right, well, you've hit, a, you've hit a, a, an important uh, and, 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 and timely issue when speaking about, uh, when asking about identity and, and politics. And, but let me just say that, um, yes, that this is a challenge uh, to nation building. Uh, politics in general it can be a challenge, it can be a, a hindrance to the nation building, governance building process, or it can, it can be a support for, for that process. And, and, and this is not something that is unique to the Métis people, uh, Métis people in this province or nationally. In fact, we've seen how the political rhetoric of, of that divisiveness has a lot of uh, potential for creating support a support base for a leader we've seen that down south in the usa or and and, and internationally arising this kind of politics and and i think the Métis people are no different and it's just something that i think is is natural in some way to the political process that that it's always easier to say what you're not going to do than it is to say what you're going to do it is to say that you're going to build xyz it is hard to do to create that vision uh of the future and do it in a unified way um, so it's always had that kind of role in, in, in politics and, 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 and because it's had that role, that kind of thing does not uh, bode well for the creation of good governance and, and institution building. So that being said, and how it is kind of a universal thing for, uh, for a lot of political communities uh, in, across the globe, I think it might, I mean, it's with Métis people uh, in this province or, you know, in Canada, uh, it, it does play a specific role in, in uh, this kind of divisive or politics or mistrust, and that's in, in government. It, and that's because, well, it, if you think about it, Métis people are used to not having their voices heard, um, uh, and not used, are, are very not used to having a government that reflects their interests. And I think current and future and aspiring leaders need to account and, 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 um, and honor that, that kind of past and the way that it kind of, um, Manifests itself in in the fears and and uh, in rhetoric um, of its of, of politicians, but also uh, to take care of the citizens in that way to develop that social trust in its own institutions. I think that is going to be a primary uh, of a primary importance for future nation building in this province and for Métis governance in general. I think um, I think that that uh, again as as future and aspiring and, and current leaders. Uh, have an opportunity, I think, to build unity and to create that common vision and, um, 
And I think that unity can come from a celebration of, of nation building, of the nation building processes come to take in place in this province. Because after all, that's something that all Métis people can find pride in. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, Martin.